Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to be captivated by a global clash that has taken the world by storm. Two superpowers are about to engage in combat over an unusual battlefield, Greenland. Prepare for shockwaves when the United States and China clash in an epic war for supremacy, shaking the geopolitical landscape. This heated rivalry has unexpectedly found its center in the ice-covered country of Greenland, which is renowned for its unspoiled beauty. Come us on an exciting adventure as we explore the high-stakes strategies, convoluted alliances, and clandestine operations that have brought this arctic clash to the public's attention. Prepare to see history being made as the battle for Greenland plays out in front of your eyes. Before we dive in, please like and subscribe for YouTube algorithm. Now, we are all aware of Greenland's conspicuous location between the North Atlantic and the Arctic Oceans, where it is the largest island in the world. This autonomous region, which is part of the country of Denmark, has drawn a lot of attention recently, mostly because of its advantageous location. Greenland, which has an area of 2.16 million square kilometers, is so vast that it captures the imagination with its stunning fjords, colossal glaciers, and towering icebergs. Its enormous size and strategic importance in world affairs have sparked discussions about its geopolitical relevance. The richness of natural resources in Greenland is one of the main factors contributing to its current importance. Minerals like zinc, iron ore, lead, uranium, and rare earth elements are abundant on the island. As the need for these resources grows internationally, Greenland has emerged as a desirable location for foreign investors and countries looking to guarantee a steady supply of essential raw commodities. Furthermore, Greenland's strategic location presents exceptional potential for trade and transportation. A crucial passageway between the Atlantic and Arctic Oceans may be created by the island's extensive coastline, which is peppered with multiple deep water ports. Due to climate change, new shipping lanes, including the mythical Northwest Passage, are opening up as the Arctic ice melts. This has attracted the attention of governments seeking easier access to the Arctic's undiscovered resources and shorter commercial routes. In addition to Greenland's economic potential, superpowers looking to increase their influence in the Arctic have taken note of the country's geopolitical significance. The island plays a critical role in national security because of its proximity to the United States and the significant military presence in the region. Greenland's strategic significance has only increased as the struggle for control of the Arctic has heated up. But in addition to the advantages and difficulties that come with its advantageous location, Greenland also has particular environmental problems. Since accelerated glacier melt and subsequent sea level rise are caused by rising temperatures, the island is especially vulnerable to the consequences of climate change, ecosystems, indigenous populations, and the viability of Greenland as a whole are all seriously threatened by these changes. You see, due to its potential natural resource richness, Greenland, the largest island in the world, has drawn the attention of major world powers. Oil, gas, gold, diamonds, and rare earth minerals are among the precious deposits that are thought to be abundant on the island. Two significant actors on the international scene, China and the United States, have shown interest in this enormous resource base. The world's greatest consumer of raw materials, China, has made a concerted effort to obtain necessary resources to support its quickly expanding economy. China has been looking to Greenland as a potential source to satisfy its insatiable appetite for minerals and metals. China is particularly interested in rare earth minerals since they are necessary for the production of advanced electronics and renewable energy technologies. However, as a worldwide superpower, the United States is likewise attentively watching Greenland's resource possibilities. The United States has indicated interest in securing its access to essential minerals and minimizing its reliance on foreign suppliers because it recognizes the strategic importance of these resources. The mineral riches of Greenland has been incorporated into China and the United States' larger fight for influence and control in the Arctic area as a result of their growing geopolitical rivalry. Both the local populace and the Danish government, which is in charge of managing Greenland's external relations, are concerned about China and the United States' interest in the country's natural riches. The island may face serious socio-economic and environmental consequences from the anticipated entry of foreign capital and resource exploitation. 
How to strike a balance between the preservation of Greenland's distinctive ecosystems and the rights of its indigenous inhabitants and the economic advantages of resource extraction are the subject of ongoing studies and arguments. In response to outside powers' interests, Greenland has been forging its own course towards self-government and economic growth. The island's administration has been looking into ways to responsibly utilize its richness of natural resources in an effort to achieve a balance between economic development and environmental protection. The island of Greenland finds itself at a crossroads of economic opportunity and environmental responsibility as its resource potential continues to garner attention on a worldwide scale. The decisions taken about resource extraction and foreign investment will determine Greenland's future and have an impact on the dynamics of global politics more broadly as well as the sustainable management of scarce resources. The United States places great strategic emphasis on Greenland because it provides a variety of possible benefits in the continuously changing Arctic environment. It is critical for governments to establish a presence and defend their interests as climate change intensifies and the region's melting ice creates new opportunities and threats. In light of this, the U.S. has thought about the possibility of establishing a permanent military presence in Greenland. Greenland offers a strategic vantage point for the U.S. to observe and respond to possible threats because of its size and proximity to the Arctic area. The thinning ice has ramifications for both economics and security because it has opened up new shipping lanes and made previously inaccessible locations more reachable. A military presence in Greenland would allow the United States to protect its interests and project influence in the area as rivalry for control over these new trade routes and unexplored resources heats up. Additionally, the United States would be able to conduct surveillance and gather intelligence on operations in the Arctic with a permanent military presence in Greenland. Concerns regarding potential security hazards like as territory disputes, resource competitiveness, and even the possibility of militarization are brought up as the region becomes more accessible. The United States could keep a close eye on these developments, improve situational awareness, and react quickly to any arising dangers by maintaining a presence in Greenland. Additionally, the changing dynamics of the Arctic have an impact on homeland security and national defense. As a maritime nation, the United States understands how crucial it is to safeguard its territories and keep control over important waterways. The location of Greenland puts it in a good position to protect American interests, giving it the ability to detect ballistic missile launches and respond to any potential incursions. The development of a continuous military presence in Greenland is not without difficulties, though. Coordination and tight cooperation with the local population, the Danish government, and other stakeholders would be necessary. To maintain sustainable practices, environmental issues and the protection of Greenland's distinctive ecosystems would also need to be properly taken into account. But China's ambitious Belt and Road Initiative, BRI, has accelerated the nation's search for natural resources around the world, and Greenland has emerged as an alluring potential for Chinese investment. The island has considerable appeal as a possible addition to China's portfolio of resource-rich nations due to its abundance of resources. China has made major investments under the BRI in nations with large natural resource reserves in order to secure essential raw materials and sustain its expanding economy. China's interest in Greenland is consistent with both its economic goals and its larger strategic goals, with the possibility for new shipping lanes and access to undiscovered resources. The island's strategic location in the Arctic area fits well with China's ambitions for increased influence and connectivity in the region. China's involvement in Greenland, however, is not without issues and factors to take into account. Concerns regarding environmental sustainability, community involvement, and the long-term effects of resource extraction are raised by the possible flood of Chinese investment. These worries reflect broader conversations about China's foreign investments, which emphasize the necessity for ethical conduct and cooperative relationships. More than just its wealth of resources, China is interested in making investments in Greenland. China is very attracted to the island's strategic location between Europe and North America since it offers chances for both economic and geopolitical advantages. China might acquire access to the Northern Sea Route with Greenland as a potential entry point to the Arctic, resulting in significant cost reductions in shipping and trade. New shipping routes, such as the Northern Sea Route, 
have become accessible as a result of the melting of Arctic ice brought on by climate change. Compared to the Suez Canal or the Panama Canal, this route offers a quicker and more effective path for marine trade between Asia and Europe. China may save a lot of money by using the Northern Sea Route to cut down on shipping routes, fuel consumption, and total transportation expenses. Due to Greenland's advantageous location, China would gain a significant foothold in the Arctic. Not only would access to the Northern Sea Route improve China's trading capabilities, but it would also increase its geopolitical influence. Securing a base in Greenland might allow China to exercise influence and take part in the governance of Arctic affairs as the Arctic becomes a scene for growing competition among global powers. So, what's the problem? Why can't the United States and China just share Greenland's resources? Well, sharing the resources of Greenland between the US and China presents complex issues that go beyond mere resource distribution. The current dynamics, which include Denmark's authority over Greenland and its close ties to the US, as well as worries about China's ambitions and its tactics for acquiring global resources, all add to the complexity of the situation. Since the American occupation of Greenland during World War II, Denmark, the country in charge of Greenland, has maintained a close relationship with the US. A long-standing US military presence on the island as a result of this historical connection is strategically significant for both homeland security and defense. The United States military presence and influence in the region might be threatened by any agreement giving China access to Greenland's resources, which would be highly problematic for US national security interests. Additionally, the world community is concerned about China's strategy for acquiring resources. China's aggressive pursuit of resources around the world, frequently through massive infrastructure projects and investments made as part of the Belt and Road Initiative, has alarmed nations and analysts. Some others think China's interest in Greenland is part of a larger plan to strengthen its geopolitical power. Without careful thought and precautions, Granting China access to Greenland's resources could jeopardize international peace and lead to power imbalances. In conclusion, the conflict over Greenland's natural resources is just one more illustration of how the United States and China are becoming increasingly competitive. Both nations are interested in Greenland's abundant natural resources, and any effort by China to get access to them is likely to encounter pushback from the United States. The future of this situation is uncertain. But one thing is certain, the conflict over Greenland is far from done. That's it for today's video. Do you think China or the United States should have access to Greenland's resources? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this.